Hello and welcome back to the studio where we paint away the stress of everyday life. So the challenge today is six colours. And what am I going to paint on this bit of cardboard today? Well, again, I've taken the theme of a building. And that's the only idea that I've got in my mind. And, well, let's go for it. Let's <laughs> hope. Hey, welcome, thanks for stopping by. It's time to learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a great time. And don't forget to... So thank you very much for joining me in the studio. Don't forget to click the subscription button and the notification bells because I upload every Monday at 7.30 and I paint to relax. I'm not, I don't paint to sell. I paint to relax, and that's what it's about, is enjoying the painting process and to relax. And along the way, we can learn a few different methods. And I like painting on cardboard. Uh, the project I've currently got going on at the moment is this one. This is a fox painting. Um, he's coming out of his, um, out of his set. Um, and that's for my grandson. Um, I've, I've got to do a bit more work on the fox. I'm working on the background and I'm going to bring the, the foreground in with a lot more foliage, a little bit more detail of rock, a little bit of snow, maybe something like that. Um, and that's the idea of that one. So all the techniques that I show in my paintings like this, these are sketch paintings, ideas painted to relax. Um, are incorporated into other work as well. So just to let you know that, yeah, you can you can. You can use all these methods, all these methods in, in, in your painting. So I'm just going to put in some blue sky today. A little bit of blue sky. A little bit of blue sky today. Dum -de -dum. De -de 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 and like I said, just paint to relax. Just enjoy the painting process. Um, sometimes we, we worry too much and we stress too much about... Um, different things. I got this horrible feeling I didn't set my sound recorder on, but I did. <laughs> I'm getting old. I'm forgetting things lately. I don't know why, but there we go. It's it's an aging process, and it comes to us all at the end of the day. So, yeah, I, I just thought, you know, I, I just thought I'd give myself an idea. Some buildings. I haven't painted buildings for such a long time, and and they don't need to be anything special. These these paintings, as I said, can be taken on and incorporate these ideas into larger paintings and i've done this so much in the past over my lifetime i've just i've always painted um sketches always painted sketches and sometimes when you go on holiday um i've always got a few paints or some color, uh, watercolor pencils or something like that with me and um I, I'll, I'll set up very quickly and this is exactly what i do this is a type of this is a type of painting that i would do if I was uh, painting plein air, so that's 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 what you've got to remember that we can we can do these things outside, especially in the summer now when it when it warms up a bit. We can do these things outside, and I'm just mixing mixing trying to mix a little bit of purple as I'm talking, and um, because I want I want a nice I want a nice light purple in the sky. I want this I want this warmth. I want the warmth to come through on the top of the sky like that. Just a nice warm colour. Now, I, well, I, now I'm talking about now I'm talking about holidays. I'm thinking Mediterranean now because I've just put a bit of bit of purple in the sky. I'm thinking maybe Mediterranean. Maybe maybe we be, could be out. Maybe we be, could be out in Spain or somewhere like that, and we we could put some. We could put maybe a distant rolling hill in the background like that. There we are. We're in Spain. Okay, so Mallorca, Mallorca, Minorca, somewhere like that. Somewhere maybe in the Balearics. There we go. We could be possibly now in the Balearics. And this is what you've got to do. You've got to start talking to yourself. I'm sitting in a field. I'm sitting in a field. I'm sitting in a field in Spain. And there's these wonderful, wonderful mountain ranges just in a very distance in the background like that and when you when you're doing stuff like this when you've given yourself an idea of what to do um you know you've you've drawn a few buildings like i've just done and and you're thinking yeah i could i could be i could be there 
we put in something in the distance something you know way 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 back there it's so far back you, you, you can't even see it so what we're going to do now um as i'm going to dry that off i'm going to dry that off i am i'm running out of kitchen paper actually to, to wipe my brushes but i'm going to dry that off really well way way in the distance and yeah and it, it, this is what happens you you start to you start to your you, your brain starts to work and you're thinking yeah um you start to invent things and maybe 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 even your memory comes back and you're thinking i remember seeing something like that i was i was out in my orca once and i could I, I remember seeing something like that and you look think of the buildings and think of the buildings what they're like so i got some mist in white mist in white um as you know i use this a lot i'm just going to mist now all over the complete painting like this i'm just going to mist it all down mist it mist it mist it mist it i want to make it look really really like knocked away there's nothing there all that color i just put in and it's going to be very very subtle when i've when i've dried this off i just want to i want to completely completely put that in the distance like that and this is the easiest way that i've ever found bit of a cheat it's a bit of a cheat i have to say um rather than messing around with colors and things like that and when you do this it doesn't look as harsh because what this does it it really makes it look dull and this is what you want acrylics are, are naturally um got a natural shine to them even though they dry matte they've got that natural shine to them when they're wet that plasticky look and you don't want that so you can see that it's gone it's like a pastel it's like pastel it's like pastel chalk it's a wonderful way to to actually um do that i find anyway and i quite enjoy um painting I like that i'm gonna find myself a, 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 a little brush i want a little brush now what we got to do now is mix some orange so that's red and yellow i didn't want as much as red as that <laughs> very careful when you mix orange be, oops i just got some more kitchen roll up in my drawer actually um smallest amount of smallest amount of red really be very careful so let's look for a, a nice orange color because what i want to do is is try and paint orange and blue go really well together so i want to paint in a roof because this i'm thinking mediterranean now i'm thinking this is out in spain or mallorca or somewhere like that so let's put a roof in there like that there we go see it's easy when you start to think and you get your brain working i want to add a little bit more red i want to say a little bit redder actually i want this bit darker i'm thinking maybe those orange slate type roofs that we see in spain maybe um very similar to mexico as well i don't know i never been to mexico so i, I couldn't answer that one but maybe because they're spanish influenced so maybe very similar to those type of buildings as well there we go so we've got a bit of orange in there and like i said orange and blue wonderful wonderful colors so i'm just just i'm just blocking in some color at the moment and i'm limit my, limited myself to certain colors which no i think about it i shouldn't have done <laughs> but it doesn't matter there we go just a block out just a block out the color like that there we go so now i'm thinking maybe add a bit of white to that maybe add a bit of white to that because I'm thinking these buildings, like in the other bit of painting I did um, last week, when I painted something up, up in Scotland or somewhere like that, possibly, I don't know. They, they got there like a white type of building. 
So we put that in. Just like that. Maybe get a bit of warmth into that side of that building. There we go. Maybe make that just that. If we make this a little bit brighter. Maybe, um, no, if I put a bit of blue with that now, it's gonna, I tell you what, I gotta get a bit of purple. I'm gonna get a bit of purple in there. It's like a shadow color. There's a bit of shadow in there. And we wanna get, there's a side part of this building that I wanna come across like that. See how it's making it look as if it's standing away, so that even this painted flat on an angle, it looks as if it's it's a protruding out is the word I was looking for protruding, especially if we put a bit of darker colour on this side now. What's like that? See, see what I mean? Can you see what I mean? I hope you can. I hope you can understand what I've just done there. It's all optical illusions. That's all art is. Optical illusions. Now I want to get back into this nice yellowy type of colour. Come across that building. Again, that's going to come down. Like that. And again, ooh, we're up there. And again, we want to just painting blocks, basically. There we go. <laughs> it's coming. It is. It is coming. So yeah, um, get a bit of white now. When you paint in um, buildings and things like that, and you're gonna take hours and hours and hours to do scenes, but if you're out in in painting plein air, as they call it, which is painting outside, then you haven't got a lot of time to paint things. So you need to paint quickly. And what I'm trying to show you here today is I want you to have the ability to just get an idea down quickly under some sort of medium. In this case, it's um, cardboard. I want to make that area just a little bit darker there. He says, um, the, the one of the most important things, um, uh, w one of the things that you will find that will change more than anything in the landscape is the sky. The sky is constantly, it's, it can be quite a pain to, to paint. And if I had the ability to take my cameras outdoors and, and show you um, that how to paint plein air, I would, but I haven't got that ability um, to set up cameras and things like that. And I don't really want to do that, if I was honest with you. But this is the methods This is the type of methods I would use to just get a an idea down on the canvas or cardboard because this is why I use cardboard a lot um, is to it's easy to transport this quick it dries very quickly 
Pink, the acrylic paint dries very quickly onto um, onto can, onto cardboard, and it's 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 wonderful to be able to 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 paint something, and then just transport it, you know, which is which is good. Little little windows, just little, little marks like that, you know. Um, we could put another window there, maybe, maybe a door there, little window there. We could put a, we could put a chimney on there if we wanted to. We could get a, we could put a chimney. Um, let me think, chimney there like that. Get some more yellow. Brighten up that. We could get your yellow and white now, and we could put our details in. Not details, but you know, light light effects just just on the building. If you wanted to do that, anyway, you get the idea. You get the idea of there's a building there. And and that's that. So I'm not doing any more to that. I could spend hour, literally hours on it. I could. I could spend literally hours on it. So again, I'm going to get some. I'm going to get some yellow, and I'm going to add a little bit of green, a little bit of red into that. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put this orangey colour, because this is this is the, the 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 like the Mediterranean type of fieldy type of things that I've seen. Um, and I just want that warmth against the orange against the blue is going to work really well. Because if you look at your color wheel, you've got red and green, which are, which are complements. And you've got um, orange and blues are complements. So if we oh green, I tell you what we could do. We could make an olive grove. There we are. That's very Mediterranean. A very Mediterranean thing is olive trees. And I think we could fill this up quite nicely you now with maybe some olive trees and things and i think that'd be a good idea so let's get a little bit of let's get a little bit of green and red and let's get this there don't forget your compliments if you add if you add um green to red it's going it's going to make it quite dull if you add um orange to a blue it's going to dull it so there we are if, if you get a little bit of green if you get a bit of red there like that and you add a little bit of green to it and let's add a little bit of white to show you. Look. It's with a horrible colour. It looks like a brown colour. It looks like quite a, like an earthy colour. So remember that. All your compliments will contra uh, 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 dull down your colours then. it make it easier for you to understand. Dull down the colours. So we've got a bit of ground coming in there. We got our we got our buildings and we got our mountains in the background. We got our buildings and trees. I'm gonna get a foliage brush. I got a little foliage brush here somewhere. Where's my foliage brush? Is that the one I'm looking for? Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. Oh, I gotta get organised. I gotta. You have to remind me next time you come into the studio. Um, remind me to organise myself. So. Um, I'm going to get some dark green. I'm just going to use the dark green. I'm going to maybe put a small amount of black to that. And I'm just going to put in some, leave a few gaps as well. There we go. Just put a few. like a mass of color just a mass of color you don't want to try not to destroy your building too much but you want to put a few olive trees in front of that because when i was walking down here <laughs> you can make that happen yeah I, I was there i was there i was actually there it was in, it's a lovely place in mallorca there you go but it isn't it's out of your head There we are. Get a little brush. Let's get a little um, 
let's get a little brush get some black and just put a few lines just like that just a few lines like as if there's tree stumps and things There go. As simple as that. It's easy. It's easy. It is easy. It is easy. Right. Let's get a little bit of yellow on the same brush we just did. And let's just put a little few highlights. A little bit of yellow. Just a few lights. Just here and there. Just tappy tappy tap. Just tappy tappy tappy. Maybe a little bit of white. Maybe just a sparkle of white. Just tappy 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 tap. You know, remember now we're painting plein air. We're, we're sitting out in the field and we just we just painting this scene that we can see in front of us, and that's that's what it's all about. So what we need to do now, um, we could use this. Oops, we could use the same brush. I suppose we could use the same brush. Let's get some yellow. We could use the same brush. And let's just just flatten the land out a little bit. There you go. So there's a lot of olive trees there in front of the house. Now we've got to think now. There's going to be there's going to be a, another big olive tree. I think. I think we're going to have another big olive tree. So let's let's get some let's get some hooker's green. A little bit of black in that hooker's green. I want to darken this. I want to darken this one. This was this is going to be a this is going to be the main the main olive tree so we're, let's get let's get some shapes in think of an olive tree because it, it's quite a rounded type of it's quite a rounded type of tree there we go it's this big old daddy tree that's been here i don't know for how long hundreds of years maybe these olive trees are, are, are quite um old i think my understanding of all of, of, of olive trees they can they can be quite old so he's a big old, he's a big old olive tree. This one, there we go. It's a big old olive tree. There we are. There's another a big olive tree there, and um, we get a bit of yellow. And we put a little secondary highlight in, just like that, leaving some of that dark in place. This is how you develop your trees. Don't kill all those dark areas. You mustn't kill all them dark areas. And we're going to get a little bit of white. Because what we want to do now is just sparkle up just a little bit of area. Just like that. And then we go to a tree. Oh, 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 a tree? It's not a tree, it's a paintbrush, Clive. Then we go to a brush. Let me bring that down there like that. And he's going to be a big old olive tree, this one. There you go. They're, they're funny old strings, these things. There you are. Just like that. And he looks as if he's going to fall over, so we'll have to give him a nice foot. Give him a nice foot, like that. And let's get some green and yellow i want to get some texture in maybe a little bit of oops that's too much brush it in if, if you've done it if you if you if you've made a mistake don't worry about it just brush it in it's acrylic we can get away with it there we go happy accents just chuck a little bit of detail in this is one of our first olive trees that we've got there and um, we need another olive tree now and we're going to put we're going to put another olive tree we're going to put another olive tree um i want this dark as well i want to put another olive tree that's too light Not as big this time, 
because I wanted to make it look as if it's I want to make it make it look as if it's um, further back. Get, get some. I'm rushing. I'm rushing. I'm rushing. But this is what you do sometimes. Oops. This is what you do sometimes when you're outside. You tend to rush because you're thinking, oh, there's there's a cloud coming over, or it's going to rain, or or whatever. You know, we don't know. So don't be 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 prepared to be prepared to. Do whatever it takes sometimes to get a painting finished. There we go. And we get our brush. I'm going to put another. Olive tree in there. There you go. Put a few more. Make it look like that. Make it look like that. Make it look like that. Oh, I just dropped my. Oh, what a man. What a man. There we are. This is what happens when you rush, see? But there again, that's okay. There we are. Let's get some. Texture. Just tap in down. Just tapping down like that, like as if there's texture in the ground. Just to give it a bit of. I'm thinking. No, should we? Should we put in? No, you can see what I mean. You can see what I mean. We we could tell what we could do. We could balance this painting off. We could put a a part of a tree. There we go. Coming in. This is a part of a tree, this this off canvas. And then we could get away. Where's my palette knife? Maybe not. No, that doesn't look right, does it? Okay. I'll do. Let me get a. Old trunk there like that. There we are. Can you see what I've done roughly? Anyway, it'll do. <laughs> There's another idea for you. I'm not too happy with that tree. That 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 is not true because I went I went wet on the wet. Please 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 don't make the mistake that I just did, and try to paint wet on top of wet with acrylics. It does not work. It just merge. Oh, thank you, thank you, Siri. Um, because it, it 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 can it can merge. But what I suggest you do, you could dry something like that off, and then repaint over it. There we are. And he's just he just smudged the tree with his hand. Look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we are. Don't worry about it. 
it's a sketchy painting that's all you want to worry about this these things happen in plein air these things happen in plein air sometimes they don't even dry and you put them together and they stick and things like that so yeah but use these techniques and just you know the sky i was happy with the buildings the little trees that tree i was happy with but that one no not so much and especially when i rubbed that one with my hand it doesn't matter it's going in the bin anyway so thank you very much like comment share and subscribe and don't worry about it relax and chill and let the painting meditate it's, it's a meditation that's all it is it's a meditation so enjoy it see you next time anyway bye bye <laughs>